right up in here. It's actually dented in with a U-bolt hitting the frame. All right, today we're gonna be working on a dump trailer. We're gonna flip the axles, reasons why. It's how close. The trailer's not even loaded. The tires sit to the fender. I don't like that. The other problem is, I'm sure if you can see over there, how close the U-bolts are to the frame. You know, the crappy roads that we have, they do hit every now and then. I do run this trailer full. Sure you can see that e bolt there. When the thing's loaded, the e bolt's a whole lot closer to the frame. We have a pile of broken axles. All of them breaking right here to the U bolt. So we're going to take the. We're putting 8,000 pound axles in place of these 7,000 pounds. We're going to put them underneath. Raise the trailer up quite a bit, get that axle away from that frame. Let me get it backed in, up on jack stands, and we'll get started. All right, got it up on jack stands. Got the wheels off, obviously. One of the first things you want to do before you even go on with any more. Whatever your best penetrating oil, I use WD-40. Spray those threads down. Tops and bottoms. It'll make that part of the job a lot easier. All right, since we're doing a axle swap also from a 7,000 to an 8,000 pound axle, the OD is a three and a half inch on the 8,000. I don't need to make sure my rotor, make sure it fits. I'm not seeing any problems with that. So this looks like it's gonna fit. So we'll continue. Start to pull them axles loose. Right, pulling your brake bracket off. Pull your drum brake. Five, nine sixteenths nut. Now that we got that out of the way, we can go to our U bolts. Now we got U bolt kit off both sides. Ready to slide that axle on out of there. All right. <clears throat> All right, we got three axles pulled off. When it comes time to make sure we weld the leaf spring saddles on the new axles, measure from the center of the bolt to the center of the bolt before you weld them or you weld these in place on the axle. I don't need a axle flipping kit because I'm using straight axles. The three axles that I just pulled off, they're also straight axles. So I could have taken these, unbolted them from the top side of the leaf spring and turned right around and flipped them over and hung them from underneath the leaf spring. There would have been no problems. These are straight axles. Now I've got these measured out where they need to be at on this axle. Getting ready to grind all the paint off, and we'll weld these into place. All right, that one's welded on. Not the prettiest thing, but I need it to hold. I'm not trying to sell it. All right, we got two of them welded up. Like I said, it's not the prettiest weld, as long as it holds. We'll grab this one and put it on the trailer. Go! Oh! Right now I've got the axle underneath. Use a couple straps. And go underneath here. Pull it up into position. Both sides. And we're gonna put our U-bolts in. All right, what we're looking for, we're trying to line this bolt up. It's nut and bolt, that's all that is. 
You don't have to unbolt your packs and flip this over. Get the line in the hole on your leaf spring saddle. Now we've got it lined up in position. Now we can put our U-bolts back on. Now before you start to put your U-bolt kit on, clean your threads up. And then make sure it'll fit through the block all right. If not, take the rubber mallet, bend it back into shape. Ready to go to the next one. Alright, it's another day. Ran out of daylight yesterday. Putting these axles on, we flipped them. Putting the 8,000 pound axles on versus the 7. We got one more to put into place. Got to weld it up. It's ready to go on. Now, if any of y'all are that are watching this, got any helpful hints for other people who are watching this, want to learn how to do an axle swap on their trailers, whether it's a regular trailer, dump trailer, an RV, doesn't matter. Got any helpful hints if you can help people out? Or you got any questions, put them down in the comments below. Now one of the things I said, putting that first one on, that's one of the hardest things about this whole project, trying to slide that axle out of me. Then I learned to put a strap on the other end, pull it. Go on with the brakes. Go! Uh, Time to put our brakes on. Put my brake caliper bracket on. Now we put our brake rotor on. Or drum. Brakes on. You got grease on your spindle. Washer. And gas Tighten it up. You don't want it to spin. No back and forth play. Car pin, car key. Here it goes all the way through. Bend it out so it can't fall out. And we're ready to put our dust cap back on. Now right, we got all the brake rotors, the brakes, drum, all mounted. Some of y'all might be wondering why am I doing this if I don't have a issue with the trailer being too low. My issue is the axle gets too close to the frame. All right up in here, it's actually dented in where the U-bolt is hitting the frame. It's all the way around the trailer. I've broken many axles. And I think that's one of the reasons why. Get this thing raised up even more so I can get this front wheels on. And then we'll use the ramp, pull it up on the ramp to raise the back end up higher. Get those wheels on too. Alright. Everything's put back together. Lengthen the, the gooseneck. Try to get it back level again. As you can see, it brought it up a lot. Is that all right? It looks stupid right now. And far away from the fenders. But also, these fenders are fixed have to be changed. They're rotting through, rusting through. So the next set of fenders will just be mounted lower. So it doesn't look so stupid. Lots of clearance underneath. We'll get it raised up and show you what, what it looks like. Now, if you all remember, the issue that I was having was the axle to bump the frame. How close the U-bolts are to the frame. It was way too close and I'm loaded. It's only a few inches from touching the frame. Now, that's not gonna be a problem. 
few balls are right on top. Plenty of clearance for when I'm loaded and driving down these crappy roads with dips and potholes. But anyhow, if this helped you out, great. Like, comment, share, subscribe. There's definitely more of this to come. Thanks for watching.